Hello fellow Vault Dwellers, today I have a showcase of the latest Vault 4 weapon mods featured in the Nexus Hot Mods. I'll be showcasing these on the latest character I'm using in my Let's Play currently. And before we get to the showcase, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this mod showcase. Let's get into it. So the first weapon that we have today is the FN57 MK2 by Ladenware. And you can find this in the chem lab, so let's make that. So this is a semi-automatic pistol designed and manufactured by FN Bristol in Belgium, represented in Fallout 4 by a fully customizable model with a custom first and third person animations. This mod also requires tactical reload by Bones, so be sure to snatch that mod as well for this weapon to work. That is the weapon with all the mods, and as you can see it is fully customizable, so you can add a bunch of different mods to this gun. So I'm going to go ahead and fully mod this out and then test it out on some enemies. And this is how I've modded it currently, so it's quite decked out and very nice looking, if I must say. So let's go test this weapon out on some enemies in the wasteland. Oh, our first target. Okay, we're gonna test out the FN57. Oh wow, that took that out pretty quick. <laughs> so yes, as you can see, it's a pretty powerful weapon. Oh, let's see how... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, that Mr. Gutsy was savage. I definitely would recommend this one. I guess this is kind of a showcase slash mod review at the same time. Oh, oh, why, why is there a Brahmin here? <laughs> Random Brahmin. We love to see it. Oh, that's gonna explode. No, thank you. Okay, let's test this bad boy out on some forged. Oh, nice. Amazing weapon. So yeah, as you can see, this is quite the powerful weapon. Despite just being a measly pistol. Not really measly in this case. Well, let's help me treat you there. Onto our second mod of the day, we have the FN2000 by SpongeBob Slavic Pants. This mod adds a fully customizable FN F2000 assault rifle with fully custom animations and sounds to the game. It uses vanilla ammo and be can be crafted in the chem lab as seen. Do note you won't be able to use this weapon in power armor. The author notes this isn't a bug. So this is the weapon with oat. Any mods added to it, so just make sure not to shoot the friendly NPCs. And let's deck it out with some mods. So as you can see, this one is also fully customizable. And it also has a damage multiplier. I'll choose the one that makes it 69. <laughs> and now I have it fully customized. So let's test it out like that. Ah, uh, much better. I didn't like that zoom in sight, but you might like it. So <laughs> mod at your dismay with this weapon. And this is the weapon fully decked out with the customizable mods that you can add onto it. Okay, and now we're testing out the FN F2000 assault rifles. Yes, we're doing all this on the forged. Ah, very nice. There's that custom reload animation. Yes, Piper, let out the beast. Very good weapon, oh my god. I say that about all of them, but they're really all good. Oh. Who has the flamethrower? Because they're getting it. There we go. And I'll shoot you limb from limb. Sir? <laughs> oh boy. Yes, I'm forgetting this is the Forge who love to spam 
the Molotovs, so yeah, that's always fun. Ah, nice. There we go. Oh, and there's the last one. Nicely done. Perfect showcase of this gun here. Very great weapon. I'll definitely probably be using this on my playthrough. So our third weapon of the day is the European Sniper Rifle, part of the Commonwealth Weaponry expansion by Degenerate DAC. And so this is actually one of the two unique variants of this weapon that can be found in the game. The first one can be found at the lighthouse south of the wreck of the Northern Star, and this one I got here I found at the Saga Siren Works, which I will insert a clip of me getting that there right here. And here is the third mod of today, and that is the European Sniper Rifle. And the other one, which I just picked up, is at the tippity-top of Saga's Ironworks. So yeah, this mod adds a new fully custom Cold War Sniper Rifle. Really cool. Anything from that era. And it's a brand new bolt-action sniper rifle based on the real-world French FR2 family. Comes with fresh, high-quality textures and models, and unique attachments to suit your every niche. Okay, so for some reason, when I originally used this at Saga Sarnworks, this sight didn't work, but now it does, and it sets people on sets things on fire for 15 seconds so that's another really cool feature for one of the unique variables i don't know what the other one does and i'm not going over to that section of the map this time so you might see that in my let's play but for now let's see if we can add any customizations to this weapon this variant is called the croquet monsieur and it sets targets on fire for 15 points of damage and this is after it's been fully modded. Very, you know, you can definitely tell this is like a European weapon, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I really like that cover on the sniper thing there. Sniper sight. <laughs> I don't know what words are, sorry. <laughs> so let's go test this out in the wasteland. And basically, it's a brand new bolt action sniper rifle based on the real world French FR2 family. It comes with fresh, high quality textures and models, unique attachments to suit your every need, right handed animations with custom sound effects, as heard, and levelless injection, found in the wastes on gunner snipers and shops after level 15. And as I noted before, there are also two variants you can get, one at Saugus and one at the lighthouse south of the wreck of the Northern Star. So let's go test this out on some enemies. Okay, so we're testing this one out on some super mutants. I still got sneak damage. Oh, okay. I wanted to get to the mini nuke, but oh well. Guess I'm not doing that. Oh, it's a floater. Thanks, I hate it. Oh, it would have been nice to get a sneak shot, though, on that super. Oh, I can't say that word on YouTube. <laughs> I was about to say it, then I caught myself. I'm like, oh, don't say that word on YouTube. The unaliver. <laughs> the super mutant on. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not really funny. <laughs> that word. The context of it, but super mutant unaliver. I'm sorry, but that is the best thing ever. I need to start calling them that instead. But as you can see, this is a very powerful sniper rifle. Definitely would use this in regular Let's Play. The fourth mod today is the. MW 2022 9mm Damon Pistol by Blue Blue and Moon Eater. This mod adds a customizable Sty 2011 from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 with sounds and animations in first and third person to Fallout 4. So here the gun is very cool looking first person animation.
And that's the third person animation. And here is shooting it unmodded. Now let's customize it. It features attachments from the game, full animations for the base gun in first and third person. You can also get this weapon at the chem bench, as as already seen, or sheesh, as the mod author says. Do also note that this requires tactical reload by blooms, and there's also no power armor support like the other one of the other weapons that I listed here before. Oh, that's so nice looking. As you can see, there's a lot of really nice looking mods you can put on this one. It also has custom sprint animations, and reload animations, and a damage modifier. And here you have the weapon fully customized here. Very cool design. Now there's multiple different ones, but I'm only going to do one for this, since I'll probably spend a lot of time doing that if I keep looking at all of them. Let's test it out. Oh, look at this. New running animations too. Very nice weapon. I think that's actually my favorite so far. Okay, and we'll be testing the Damon 9mm out in Side Saga Sirenworks. There you go. Okay, and if you're wondering which weapon that is that I'm using to slow down time, that is bullet time. <laughs> it makes a little cameo a lot in this video. This one's not as powerful as the other ones, but it's still very good. Though I think that might have been a more powerful forge that I was fighting back there. Oh! And I'll be mainly showing off the first person animations also, because I don't usually go into third person. So yeah, this is a very nice pistol that I definitely see myself using in my Let's Play as well. And our main goal to be in here for is because the third weapon in the mod showcase today is actually at the top of Saga's Ironworks. So I'm actually filming my Let's Play simultaneously while I'm doing this mod showcase, so... <laughs> Look for that. And now the fifth and last weapon mod for today, and that is the BHPPSH41 submarine. Submarine. Is that supposed to say submarine or submachine? <laughs> I'll figure out when I look at it on the Nexus mods. And it is by Brutahood. Love that name. It also has a new standalone ammo, the 7.62 by 25 millimeters Tokarev. It is a very sleek looking weapon, I think. You can definitely tell it's from World War II, that era. New standalone ammo, it also features 20 sight options, 14 muzzle options, 8 laser slash light attachment options, laser settings, and color change, 6 stock materials options, and a damage modifier. And as stated before, the gun and its ammo are both craftable at the chem lab. And if you get the level list patch, it will randomly spawn on NPCs when the player reaches level 20. And I'm level 25, so if I were to go out into the wasteland, it would probably be on different NPCs. Anyways, let's test out the unmodified weapon. Very nice. Very fast, too. So, let's mod this one. And as you can see, it does offer a wide variety of different customizations you can add onto this. And here the weapon is fully customized. It did take away the automatic feature, as I do prefer guns that aren't automatic on this character. Very good gun. I love the fire sounds of this one, actually. It's very subtle, but very nice to listen to, I find. <laughs> and this is what it looks like fully customized. Very nice color there, that's the Sequoia paint on there. And this mod adds a legendary Soviet WW2 open bolt submachine gun with even modern attachments and upgrades to fulfill your modern up combat needs. Features first and third animations. 
and third-person animations with NPC support, custom models, textures, and sounds. Okay, and so now we are testing out the EHPPSH41 submarine gun by Brutahood. Now let's see what this one does to the forged. Oh, very nice. Very nice sneak shot I got off there. Oh, there they are. Yeah, end of the line as long as it has to do with these weapons, because they will take out forge and raiders alike. Oh, yes, this one. I think this one and the first one are my favorites. Very nice. Along with those very sleek looking reload animations that it has as well. And yes, you can tell I'm very persuasive. I <laughs> totally can't tell this is my first mod review slash showcase. Okay, slag is a very tough one, so I might need to use one of the different weapons I have from this. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, we're taking a lot of slag out here. Nice. Okay. And there we have it for that weapon. Very nice showcase of that one. And there we have it. Those are the five weapon mods from the hot mods section all found on Nexus Mods. I hope you all have fun in the wasteland of these cool weapon mods. Also, if you enjoyed this mod showcase and want more follow-up content like this, then consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And remember everyone, stay sneaky.